We have a special edition of Rep Talk for everyone. Um, Ken and I have noticed a couple things over the past two months. We wanted to share with everyone uh, what we've noticed in terms of the IEQ conversation. Um, and, you know, if you're a, by chance a contractor listening, we have some, I guess, um, very exciting, insightful uh, comments and, and commentary on the, on the subject. So what Ken and I actually have noticed is the past couple months, the busiest contractors out there are the ones that have actually have been talking about indoor air quality. Because you think about it, a lot of them to begin with, with this pandemic, aren't allowed in the house as it is. They should be, if they are, they're supposed to be following the CDC protocol. Um, but you know what? I think our, tr from what I'm seeing, and fortunately distributors are open as well, there's a ton of business going on right now. And Ken and I noticed a ton of that business honestly has been indoor air quality related with all these accessories. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. In fact, I think I, I can count, you know, I don't know how many numbers of times we've said that, that I, I wish I was in the contracting business right now that I, you know, the, the opportunity right now to become more relevant than you already are in your market, uh, I think is dramatic. And, I, and so I think that's the point today. You know, why, who are we to be asking you to spend the next 40 minutes, 45 minutes talking to us about your business and indoor air quality? And I think it's to spread that word that even if you are already a successful contractor, uh, uh, in fact, especially if you're already a successful contractor, that's exactly who we want to be talking to right now. Um, IEQ, indoor air quality, has been around for a long time. We've been in the business for years. Um, uh, but it's no more relevant than it is right now, as, as we all know. Uh, uh, it, it's not a matter of whether or not it's too late to get into it. It's actually right now it's the ground floor. When you think about it, and you, Rob, your two cents on this, it's worth its weight in gold. When you think about it, has there ever been a time where we could predict, uh, uh, successfully predict that the foreseeable future, and I mean the years of for foreseeable future, are going to include IAQ in a way that none of us have ever seen before, right? I mean, you agree. There, there, right? there, there's not a doubt in my mind that this conversation right. is, 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 is not going to change anytime soon. No. Uh, you think about what the dialogue we've been hearing through different media outlets, right? What's the dialogue? The people most affected by this pandemic are the same groups of people that have, we've always been talking about in terms of, you know, targeted groups of people that need in decent indoor air to breathe to begin with, you know, people with COPD, people with asthma and allergies, all these same folks are the ones that we're most the concerned elderly. about now with airborne pathogens and this, this darn, you know, coronavirus. So, exactly right. um, exactly but leading right. up to this, let's just, this is, you know, put the pandemic aside now, I guess, let's just take a little step yes. back, you know, yes. our conversation really hasn't changed, right? It's the same conversation and it's same never too late to get in this game. My point is, uh, we should all be excited because we're all, we're all, you know, we have something to teach people and help educate people in this parameter. But besides the pandemic, what were we talking about? We were talking about people living healthy lifestyles. You know, who are the groups that would appreciate, you know, breathing cleaner air and, you know, people are paying a lot of money for bottled water. They're paying for gym memberships, yoga classes, right? Um, so leading up to this, I mean, honestly, this has just been a huge, huge, kick for us you know uh, and again unfortunately it's a pandemic i can't say right. anything positive right. about it but i'm saying we're not opportunists opportunists we're just we're in a really good position to help educate people and those people to begin with were those folks that either had some yep. sort of pre-existing you know health issue yep. or the ones that were just trying to lead healthier lifestyles and you left out my favorite in that yeah. group of uh, <laughs> yoga memberships and bottled water are the people that spent six hundred dollars for a uh, a room air purifier that they put in their bedroom that oscillates back and forth. And of their 2,400 square foot home, uh, that covers 300 square feet of it, maybe. And that's it. And what about everybody else's bedroom? And what about every, what about the, you know, the rest of the house? So people, and they're not cheap. They're not cheap. No, they're incredibly not cheap. And, and so, yes, people are absolutely interested in spending, you know, money uh, to improve the health and quality of their lives and their family's lives. So, so talk about getting in on the ground floor. Um, yeah. So let's slide yeah. right into, yeah. we're trying to talk to contractors, successful or otherwise right now. Mm -hmm. and, and what's a normal contractor doing these days, except struggling to get into homes for one. But the, the number one thing, and you and I have talked about this so many times, the number one thing, uh, when you take a look at your contracting business, you're probably chasing the exact same business that your competitors are. It's that 16 seer high efficiency change out you're in a race to the bottom as far as price and margin go. Um, and then 
your 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 potential customer has four quotes in front of yeah. them. Yeah, you're uh, one of three or four guys walking one in the house, right? What are you going to do to differentiate yourself? What are you going to do to set yourself apart from those other quotes there? And right now, all you've got to work on is price. That's you're hoping that by participating in the race to the bottom, that that's what's going to set you apart from everybody else. Why not have a better idea than that? Why not have something enriching that is going to set yourself apart from the other yeah, ones? Yeah. Right? If you if you drill right down to it, let's say you're the guy in the home, you're given your you know you're doing your walkthrough. Uh, you know, a couple other people are involved are going to give them quote, give the homeowners those quotes. If you drill right down to it, right? The conversation usually is efficiency and comfort, right? From, from an HVAC contractor standpoint, we're all talking about HV, you know, comfort, sensible heat, you know, turn, you know, make sure you're, when you're, when you want to be hot, you're hot. When you want to be cold, you're cold. And by the way, yeah, we're going to get a little humidity, humidity control in here and you're going to be, you know, that much more comfortable. So everybody's talking about the same thing. So where does it begin? It begins right there by separating yourself differentiating yourself in, in the, by offering or not offering, starting the conversation with health. Try, try something new, try something different, lead off the conversation with health related questions. You know, Hey, is there anybody in the house that I know might, you know, that has allergies or asthma or whatever, or I noticed you have an air purifier over there in the corner. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Do you like yeah. it? Do you, oh, I, you know, and just see where this conversation goes. Right. So, so Ken, back to your point. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same old, same old, how do you differentiate? How, are, how can you become different? And now, especially given the situation that's, that's happening right now, set yourself apart with a conversation about health and what you can do to offer them. You know, so if the larger question that we're trying to address today, if the larger question for any contractor, if any owner of a contracting business is sitting down and, and asking themselves, should I get involved in the indoor air quality business? Um, that's what this conversation is about today. And so the first... The first reason, the first yes you should to that is differentiation. The very first yes is this is a way that I can set myself apart from all those other quotes that my homeowner's looking at. And, and so let's check that box right there. Boom. Uh, we have set ourselves apart through differentiation. And this is just a nice little summary of everything we've been talking about yeah, so far. Yeah. Homeowners are more interested than ever. Uh, uh, and more interested than ever in the things that are in their air. We know that yeah, they're wearing it, it, masks it, and gloves and everything else. What's our favorite quote to say? And, and, we, and we, we always tell people to use this quote, right? If you think oh. about all the spaces we can go yeah. in any given day, right? Yep. Just, well, outside of a pandemic, you know, the only air that you can control is the air in your home. And you can even lead off a conversation like that. Just, you know, think, step back and think about that statement for a second, right? And once homeowners, think, once homeowners think about that for a second, they realize that, yeah, even once they get back out to the new normal, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be the same deal. The only place in your entire life that you can control the air, control the air that you breathe is in your home. Yeah. And are you doing the best job of that you can? And that's how a contractor can start that conversation. Definitely. Yep. yep. And now throw, right, in, so yep, and throw in now, you know, because of what's happened, you know, everybody's talking or aware of, think about the number of people that are fact, you know, it, aware of airborne pathogens this this day and age right with this pandemic there's more talk more discussion about okay when i sneeze or cough what's going in the air right yep. Yep. and and that is an active conversation and you know what yep. that convert it's going to continue so yep. now by differentiating you know lead the lead the conversation with help try some with health try something new you're going to differentiate yourself right out of the gates in that conversation well and of course actually you're right we uh, and as long as you've once you get to the point where you agree that that's what you want to do you need to actually really differentiate yourself. In other words, once you're all in, get all in. Become the expert. Become the specialist. Become the, the person that people are going to turn to for answers so that when their neighbors say, hey, you got a new air conditioning system, that you can, the homeowner's going to say, well, yeah, you're right, I did. But oh my gosh, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, you should call these guys. It's unbelievable. They know exactly what they're talking about when it comes to airborne pathogens. Yeah. Now that's what's yeah. going to set you yeah. apart is being yeah. that kind of specialist. Strive to be that local indoor air quality expert. And it's exactly. easy. It's exactly. not that difficult of a thing to do. Take it. Oh my gosh. No. And then, by the way, there. that's what we're here for. That's the yeah. punchline, of course, is that yeah. we're here to help yeah. you do that. Yeah. yeah. We'll get there. Um, we'll get there. <laughs> and we'll get to that wait punchline. Just yeah. wait for it. <laughs> they, can, they can wait for it. Okay. So, so it's your contracting business. You've decided that differentiation is the number one thing to, to help your, your business. Well, what's a good number two then? Profit, right? You've got to make money or you're going to be out of business pretty quick. Well, we already know that if you're a typical add-on replacement guy, you've, you're chasing that same project. What are you making on those jobs? Are you making 
25%, 20% to get those, those change outs that take two days. And there's sheet metal that's involved that has to arrive on time. And the, they cut it by an inch too big and all the little parts and pieces you're chasing down. That's going to cut into that 20%. And by the time you're done, who knows what you're making? So the point is, and we're going to talk about this for just a minute. The point is that indoor air quality products like air purifiers, like media air cleaners, uh, like HEPA filtration, we're going to show you that these products are wildly more profitable than that 16 sear changeout. Think in terms of bundles and accessories and bundling accessories and think in terms of what we just laid out as far as the idea of offering something different, those solutions to have cleaner air in the house. You know, uh, I see a lot, you know, I think you even had a story, Ken, about what you saw commercially you saw on TV. You know, when I travel around, I see all kinds of commercials for contractors that are, that are advertising, you know, the connected home or a thermostat you can control from, you know, the other side right. of the country, which right. is great, but you know what? Sure. Uh, this day and age, I think there needs to be an emphasis on how would you like to breathe that the cleanest air possible in your house, right? And that, yep. I forget that story that you had that you saw. A guy well, it's and, a great story. Yeah. It was the local. I'm watching TV, and it's a it's a it's a 30 second ad. I mean, it might have been more. It might have been a 60 second ad for a big local add on replacement guy, a uh, big name, and it was a well produced commercial. And they're showing their 60 employees uh, in the parking lot with all their trucks that they have and a big brand name across the side of the vans. And, and so they were talking about their spring tune up special that they're running. And so I was waiting and waiting because I knew it was going to come any second, a conversation about indoor air quality and pathogens, et cetera, et cetera. And it never came. So here's this guy trying to get our attention in our home, talking about a spring tune up and does not mention indoor air quality. I was, I, my, I, it took my breath away. I couldn't believe that this guy, whoever he is, was, was uh, losing the most important opportunity he'll, he's ever going to see. And it just, it, it, just, it just went away. It just washed away. So this is actually a great screen. You know, your company's personality, it, you, you have a personality. You're a, you're a residential new construction contractor, or you're an add-on replacement contractor, or you specialize in, I don't know, maybe you have a duct cleaning business on the side. I'm not sure what it is, but you know that your contracting business has a personality. You're known for something that you do. And we want to encourage and talk about rethinking that. Think about this a little bit more. Isn't this the most incredible time and the most incredible opportunity to get into a sector of this business that is needed more than it's ever been needed and is actually more profitable than the traditional side of this? Let's, uh, let's keep talking about that for a second then, Rob. Yeah. Um, what are some of the bundles then that would be um, uh, uh, very effective bundles that would also be wildly profitable? Let's talk about those for a second. Yeah, so wildly profitable. You know, so outside of the standard equipment quote, I think on every quote should include at least some sort of IEQ option. So, you know, fresh air is is underrated, I think. So very those, underrated. For, for all those times you can't leave the windows and doors open because the outdoor air is either too hot, too cold, or if they're just filthy, right? right? Um, there are air exchangers and there's a big mystique to air exchangers about, you know, they, they're just really difficult to install. You know, how would you like to leave those darn windows open year round without leaving your windows open? So fresh exactly. air exchangers like ERVs and HRVs are an example, you know, even more simpler than that, Ken, let's just take a step back for a second because, um, there are filter options and opportunities out there. Half of the market is a one inch air filter, a one inch air filter. Um, so, for every one inch air filter you see out there, you know, especially somebody with allergies, it's a, it's a little more affordable uh, option, a little easier option in some cases to yep. take, take and go up to, um, you know, a, a media air cleaner, or let's not rule out HEPA. And we have to have that conversation too. Oh so, my gosh. So first and foremost, from a strategy level, and I'll just show this screen up here real quick too. Yeah. So if, talk, let's talk about all of them. I mean, there's no silver, yeah. there's no silver bullet here. No. I want everybody no. to understand that every home is different and every occupant is different. So you exactly. have to match the solution to what's going on in the home and to that occupant. So obviously, if there is any water issues, you know, leaks or, or flashing leak or a roof leak, this has to be addressed first and foremost, otherwise it's a perpetual problem. Yep. Big source of issues. Yep. Um, you know, remove the sources of the problems, you know, stinky trash, kitty litter boxes, I always give those examples, but you know, 
we're actually sources of pollution too. We actually, every yes. time we breathe, we give off VOCs, volatile organic compounds and carbon dioxide. So we actually do need fresh air coming in because of that. I don't know about you, but I'm not, I'm not going to stop breathing anytime soon. I don't plan <laughs> on it anyway. So I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to stick not. around. So I don't want to remove myself from the issue. Oh, uh, so, so that brings up fresh air, you know, dilution um, can be a solution. Um, and it's through fresh air ventilation. When you bring that fresh air in, you know, our, our homes are tighter than ever before. Uh, we've, we've increased efficiency through home tightness, but we still need to have fresh air come in somehow, some yes. way. We're so our own ventilation, enemy when it comes to yeah, fresh air. Yeah, yes, so, we created so this monster. We did. Um, and then uh, uh, filtration, right? We just said that the, there's most of the market is one-inch air filter. So there's MERV 13 options. Maybe they already have a, MERV media, a media air cleaner and it's a MERV 11. Well, there's a difference between, you know, MERV 11 and MERV 13. And you really, really don't have to get that in that conversation with homeowners because they don't care who MERV is or what he does, right? Uh, yeah. But literally it's a scale from one to 16. Used the to higher have a the TV number. show a long time yeah, ago, exactly. I think. I saw, exactly. I you know, the higher the number, the more, the more efficient it is. And I'll tell you the difference. I always, the simplest way I tell guys to remember is you know, the difference between MERV 11 and anything 13 and higher is the sneezes and coughs. If you want the ability to at least capture a sneeze or a cough, the um, nuclei, the, right? The of droplet nuclei. Yep, yeah, we call it yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. you see, your <laughs> droplet nuclei, right? infectious aerosols. It's at yep. MERV 13 and higher that we're able to catch those. Well, the one that excites me the most, though, about filtration. So, uh, actually, I'm sorry. There's two things. One is you, you mentioned the one inch filter grill. I think most of the country has a one inch filter grill, and we, one of our manufacturing partners, has a brand new product out that that allows a one inch filter grill to accept. There we go, up, up yeah, on the right there. Yep, Allows yep. a one inch filter grill to accept a deep pleated three inch MERV 13 filter that only has to be changed twice a year. Uh, talk about entry level. Uh, yeah. If you can only do that, take a look at that. Um, but the, what, yep. I, what I, I intended to say originally, what's got me really excited now about filtration is HEPA filtration. Um, yeah. Again, so, there's so, always been a stigma uh, about that, right? People always thought it's difficult, it's expensive, it's difficult to install. Yeah. So a lot of contractors, I think, when they get boxed in because of the system design and they can't stick anything else in the in the airflow because of air restriction, right? So you can only get to a certain point. Right. You know, maybe you can only have a Mervin Levin in there. And you're just capped out. You can't put right. anything in there yep. or upgrade it any further because you're kind of stuck, right? Unless you yep. change the whole ductwork around. Right. Um, so then, you know, the, the conversation usually stops right there. You're not stuck. There is another story to this, and it's it's actually HEPA, a, a hospital grade air filtration and hospital grade filtration yeah so so when you're talking to homeowners you know they they don't understand again what hepa is and you don't have to go into a long story about hepa filtration just say it's you know if you would like whole house hospital grade air filtration for your home uh it's possible it's totally possible and i'm going to um talk about this in depth here and, and really all that's needed to install if you have a forced air system okay all that you really need is a pair of sheet metal snips and power nearby because these things come basically plug and play. Just, I could probably install this, right? I think you could, Ken, and you might. I'll let you borrow my sheet metal snips. <laughs> um, literally, they're 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 a packaged little, uh, you know, a th you know, three stage HEPA filtration, if you want to call it that. They're, they vary, of course, but my point here is, as long as you have power nearby, because they have their own fan, and that's how we get around the static pressure, you know, uh, right. being stuck with not being able to upgrade your existing filter. Right. I mean, you could leave the one inch air filter in there by all means, right? You're going to leave that yes. in there, but you're going to add this in the return air side, cut two openings basically in the return air, mount this to the return air, plug it in to 115 volts. Um, so it might take a little more time. I don't want to oversimplify it. You need power nearby, sure. dedicated power, but it's 115 volt for the reason that there's a fan in there. Guess God, what? It's amazing. You turn that thing on high, you let it rip, you let the other fan, you know, the main furnace or air handler fan go and you start circulating the air and now you have hospital grade air filtration in the whole house. Whole you know, house. let's talk. Okay, let's stick with this is beautiful. Leave this up. Um, we wanted to engage a conversation about profit, right? I mean, and let's mm -hmm. be honest about this. It's very straightforward about this. You and I both know that we know contractors in various parts of the country that are getting as much as $1,900 to install this three stage HEPA filter. Maybe the guys that are really working for it are down around $1,500, $1,600 to install this HEPA filter. Remember that the cost of this product has been driven down in the last year dramatically. The contractor cost for this three-stage HEPA filter, I'm just going to say it's around $400. It's probably a little bit less than that, but let's call it $400. Bucks. If you can turn around and install that thing in 90 minutes or less, which clearly I could probably do, and you can sell that thing for $14, $15, $16, 
God help us, $1,900. You can do the math when it only costs you 400 bucks to go pick it up at your mm -hmm. distributor. This is a wildly profitable yeah, product. Yeah. And it's not snake oil. You're not doing, yeah. you are absolutely delivering to your homeowner an incredibly valuable tool for their health. There is nothing better than a HEPA filter in a home. Absolutely nothing better. Right, right. And each market is different. And I don't want to make it sound like, you know, uh, the, the, the point, Ken, here is that there's margins available, right? For your yes. knowledge. I mean, you're going to be paid for your knowledge and your expertise. Yes. Knowing how to put this in and coming back, you know, and maintaining the filters eventually. Absolutely. Um, you know, but it's just what's fair in your market. I would say, you know, these are, these, are, these, are, these are not even being offered to begin with. And our whole point here is think about, just open your mind, think about this, put yourself in a position. This is one of the many solutions to that to, to your path to giving folks cleaner air inside. And right. it just doesn't give its due diligence. Right. And, and you know, you know how I would start the conversation? If I was standing talking to a homeowner and they said, look, I'm concerned, you know, these days about what's going on with the air quality and stuff. You know, what, what brand of uh, one inch air filter do you recommend? That talk about teeing it up for you. Uh, if, if I was there talking to the homeowner and they asked me what brand of one inch, you know, filter I recommended, I would say, look, I got to tell you something. I, I frankly, you know, leave it there because it's going to grab the big stuff and it's going to protect to help protect the equipment. But what you really need is hospital grade filtration that I can install for you today because I have one on my truck for, you know, 1500 bucks. I can get you hospital grade mm -hmm. filtration in every room in the house. And now you don't have to worry about that one inch filter anymore ever again. Um, that, that, that's, that's the simplest way to tee up that conversation right there. Right. Right. So along those lines, you know, yeah. what else? Uh, so we talked about fresh air and the ERVs yep. and HRVs. Literally you're taking a, a, another box, right? An air exchanging box yep. and everything you need is in there. It's integral. You got a couple of fans, uh, and you have basically, you're going to need four pipes, you know, an, in, an exhaust from the space that's taking the stale air, running it out. You could do this with flexible ductwork and you're going to need a pipe coming in from the outside. Uh, and you're going to pipe that back into either the space itself or back into the mechanical system. Again, as a matter of time, it's probably not even a half a day's worth of work. Right. Right. And again, fresh air is fresh air. It's, yes. it's you know, keeping your windows open when you can't. Yes. Uh, just include that in your portfolio, in your bag of tri tricks, in your tool belt, that option. It's at least at least a point of conversation for fresh air because fresh air can do a lot of things. Um, oh, my gosh. And again, Absolutely. it's not snake oil. It's just let's deliver fresh air in here. Uh, and we're not going to tax your system any more than it would be because we're actually going to get, you know, we're going we're gonna to heat the air up a little bit if it's too yep. cold out or, or take the humidity out of it if it's an ERV. Anyway, it's a simple way to bring fresh air in and at least have an option to. Uh, well, what else do we have in our toolbox? So let's talk about air purification. So we talked we about, go. you know, fresh air, filtration, um, both, you know, the, the, the HEPA and the, the, the MERV 13 and higher. And we yep. talked about, uh, you know, fresh air. So now we're up to like, what do we actually do to, to actually purify the air? There and there go. are air, purifi air purification devices on the market that again, take, you know, less than an hour to install. Uh, I would, when you're out shopping for an air quality device, I would make sure it's something that's vetted, UL tested or ETL tested in the market and can has the data to back up what they say they do. Because there are, you know, there's some de devices out there that make claims that aren't necessarily true or, or they right. bend the truth. So find devices that are uh, proven um, to actually work and they treat all three levels of contaminants. And those are just a quick step backwards here. You know, you're basically your germs, the things that get us sick, the odors and gases, um, and then the particulates in the air. So make sure you get a device or look at a device that can actually treat all three all layers three. of contaminants. Yeah, and there's, I'll just show here a quick, uh, basically one of them might be, and just to mention it, uh, would be uh, like the Air Night IPG, the Dust Free Active Unit. And I just, uh, you know, as far as installation goes, literally you're gonna get a transformer in the box. You're gonna get a little um, a mounting bracket to, to put a template up on the supply air plenum, cut the hole out, install this unit with all the hardware, power it up. Literally, it's a half hour, 30 minute job. But again, as far as a margin booster, you're talking, let's just go high and say this thing costs, you know, contractor 500 bucks. There's guys, you know, you can, between your time and materials and everything, there's no reason why you couldn't, you know, uh, make a tremendous amount of margin with this product for the time spent, right? It's a lot and, like and the bundle these, filters. And bundle the bundle them with the other thing. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, attack it in several different ways. You want to improve their filtration. You want to add an air purification device. And, um, you know, there's, there's several methods to cleaning that air in the space. And, and so, just so imagine that combination then. Imagine that you combine the HEPA filter uh, um, to address the amazing hospital-grade filtration in every room in the home. 
At the same time, uh, you talk about the air purification product that you're going to uh, deliver incredible purification at every corner of the home. All the surfaces in the home are going to be addressed. Uh, amazing products out there uh, on the market, like the I, uh, like the the uh, IPG product, uh, the mm -hmm. dust reactive product. Mm -hmm. Remarkable products. So bundle those two things together. We know that the cost of the contractor is going to be under six hundred dollars for those two products. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. It might be a little bit more than that when you combine mm -hmm. the two, closer to seven or eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But now you're you're up in the twenty five hundred dollar range, twenty eight hundred dollar range to the homeowner. Again, the margins are off the charts. Um, and if that's in conjunction with that 16 share change out, now you've pulled your overall pro, uh, job margin way up, way up where it used to be back in the old days <laughs> in the 35, 40, 45 range. Yeah, so, yeah. And again, I, I just want to come back to it. I don't want to sound, you know, this is not a gouging kind of a thing, Ken. No, not I know at all. you and I are both excited about this, and I don't want it to come off as, you know, I always want people to know you're going to be paid for your expertise, the products you bring to the table. Uh, Absolutely. And these things actually work. They're vetted. They, they are known. So you're not the snake oil guy. No. You're going to be paid for your knowledge and what you're offering. And the, and the fact that you can walk away and sleep at night knowing you're helping somebody breathe better. And, you know, it comes back to, to you know, you've just def differentiated yourself. That could come back, you know, in, in exponentially in referrals and yes. your reputation and referrals. Yes. And the word's going to get around that you're the IAQ guy. Um, you know, so... So again, it's just, yeah, the margins are there. We can't say it and stress it enough, really, right? I mean, just- And worth every penny. You're right. This is not snake oil. These are yeah, wildly, yeah. wildly effective products that we're talking about. So the last thing I want to talk about from a, from a strategy or a solution is humidity yes. control. I mean, in the northern climate where I am, you know, we all, in the heat, during the heating season, you know, we can dry air out just by having the heating equipment running. Uh, and traditionally, we talk about humidity in terms of comfort too. Um, but we need to talk about, Humidity in terms of health. Yes. Uh, there's, a, there's a target range, and that's 40 to 60% relative humidity. And yes, you're going to feel the most comfortable, right, from a sensible standpoint. But really what's going on here now, and the conversation is changing, it has changed because of what's going on. You know, viruses love dry air. They love it. And actually, there's two things that happen. So viruses and microbes thrive in really dry air and really humid air. The that's other crazy, thing that happens yeah. is, yeah, our body, from our own body standpoint, we actually... We'll, we'll compromise our own immune systems when we're out of that humidity range. So if we don't keep the humidity range between 40 and 60% RH, we're actually causing ourselves, our own immune systems, not to work properly. And there's studies out wow. here that prove that. So again, I would again lead the conversation of humidification or dehumidification down south uh, to keep it in those appropriate levels, not just for feeling good, but for, for, yeah. for being healthier. For being healthier. Because, you know, if you're sick, you're not, you're not feeling very good either. You're no, not comfortable, no, right? No, it's not a comfort zone if you're not well, yeah. So, Ken, back to, your, back to your idea. When you sum all this up on a job, right, it could look, the price tag can look to a homeowner to be, you know, um, you know geez, I don't know. There's, this bundle's $2,500. I know I'm going to get, you know, uh, I'm going to be able to breathe better. But can I really, really afford, you know, this package? What? Would you tell a con we've had? I know you and I have had these conversations. Let's share what we've been talking about on our end as far as yes, please. what to offer. So, when you bundle all those up, and it's just a, a fact of life now that only about 18 people, 18% 18 of folks in this country pay cash. Okay. It's kind of like it's, it's, it's a lot smaller than I would have guessed. Um, so, if, if the conversation doesn't lend itself to a financing opportunity and you're not talking about financing, you're missing the boat there too, because I yeah. think most, most contractors things and think of offering financing in terms of new equipment sales, right? I don't think a lot of guys think of in terms of add on replacement and especially accessories. So with yeah, that, no. And, and in fact, I almost want to say that I, I assume I got to believe that if, if most of our audience right now are, are contractors, I got to believe that they're already fairly well dialed into financing. If you're not, you need to be. And once again, when we get to the part where we talk about how we're going to help you, th those are also things that we can uh, that we can uh, 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 guide you uh, in because yeah, so yeah. important to yep. have financing. So partner up with someone uh, could be through your equipment manufacturer. Yeah. Um, you know, even if you if you don't partner up with anybody, a homeowner all by themselves on their phone literally can go to Amex or PayPal or yep. some, there's a several yep. options out there they can find through their through their mobile phone, yep. and uh, literally in ten minutes can can get 
financing options on their own to help pay you and pay you, you know, immediately, basically. Absolutely correct. And, Absolutely and, correct. And, and a lot of those options or solutions from a financing standpoint do, they do have uh, no interest, no payment options. So they're out right. there, they're, they're in abundance. Um, so just, you know, again, Ken and I just want you to think in terms of, you know, maybe you haven't thought of financing in terms of accessories going forward. I would just, you know, think outside the box, think a little bit differently. Um, which and, is why uh, the add on replacement opportunity is still maybe the perfect time. I mean, I, again, if I could start my own contracting company, I think I would make it an IAQ contracting company, but, uh, outside of that, you just part make it part of that bundle that you're more than likely already financing anyway. So that, that should be a pretty easy pathway for you. Yep. And another sales strategy that, that we talk about all the time um, in, in helping, you know, uh, explain some of these technologies, if you're not using your phone or your tablet to help with videos in the sale and the process at the kitchen table or counter, I think there's a room for improvement as well, right? Yes. So there's several manufacturers of indoor air quality products that have videos. Uh, Dust Free and Air Night are one of them um, that have these 90 second or two minute videos that help you as the contractor explain this technology. And I think by virtue of you hearing it over and over again, you might get, <laughs> you might be able to, you know, uh, splurge it out all on your own eventually. Right. But there's right. help and I'll show, uh, you know, there's, there's video. My point here is there's video um, brochures as well out on the market that can assist you in getting the word out and getting, getting the, uh, the technology explained and how we're actually going to clean the air in the space. Again, getting away from that, you know, that stigma of being snake oil or the guy that's offering you something that, you know, this is, you know, again, to legitimize what it is you're offering, you know, you want to partner with, with these products that have been vetted and have these certifications and, and, a, and a good storybook or a video is, is a great way to tell the story. Well, why don't we let that be our lead in then to talking about why are we here to talk about these things today? How do we fit into all of this? Uh, and the video brochure is a good place to start, start that. That video brochure, which by the way, is a two minute video that your technician can hand to a homeowner while he's doing something else. And the homeowner will get an introduction to indoor air quality right from the two minute video. That kind of marketing, that very cutting edge marketing is one of the many, many things that we do. Who are we and, 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 and why should you want to partner with us? The answer is that if you agree that this is a great time for you to get into indoor air quality, then you need to partner with somebody that can help you in a comprehensive way across all of these things. What have we been talking about? Quality products, about financing, about proposals, about a full range of filtration, sterilization, purification. You know, you've got a lot of different manufacturers here to think about. You have a lot of different angles to come at this. Best thing you could do would be to partner with somebody who can comprehensively, and I, I didn't even mention training for the love of God, and marketing. So you need to partner with somebody who can touch, check all those boxes, okay? That's who we are. We are the ones. We have reps in every market in the United States. We have the partnership with the, every manufacturer that we've discussed to bring high quality, uh, very aggressively priced products into the market. Uh, and, and, and I want to suggest that that's why we're here today is to talk about partnering with us. I'll let yeah, you run so with that, I can't Rob. Say for a enough <laughs> about training. Yeah. Uh, so we do have several programs. You'll find them. And I just put this out there. Um, we have a website you can go to, kggconsulting.com. Please. Uh, where we have an events tab. Once you get down to the bottom of the first page, you'll see uh, myself there and our business partner, Chris Grubbs, there. Um, so you'll see an events tab on there that will show you our training classes available. And some of them are on demand. We actually are going to develop an online learning management system here real soon. Um, but we've, we've taped several video sessions uh, and training sessions where there's indoor air quality basics to get you comfortable talking about indoor air quality, define what the contaminants are, where they're coming from. Secondly, we talk about all the technologies out there on the market in part two. And then finally, after part one and part two, part three is all about selling strategies uh, for, the, for you contractors out there that want to know, what do I need? To, how do I start the conversation? What are the tools here for me to help get this going and kickstart my IAQ business? and you know, uh, boost my margins and, and set myself apart, honestly. Uh, we also have a podcast we started, and obviously you're here today listening, so you know about Rep Talk. Uh, we're indoor air quality members. We belong to IAQA. We belong to ASHRAE. Again, we're here. Uh, we've been talking IAQ for years, and we're just happy to share what we know with you. So best place to go would be the website for further information, uh, kggconsulting.com. You'll find our contact information on there. 
Um, and Ken, was there anything else you, uh, we did not hit on, uh, that you were Well, thinking? I don't think there's anything else in particular we didn't hit on. I think, uh, uh, if I can have a kind of a summary moment here, um, I think the key to all of this is that, yes, this is the time for you to get more involved in indoor air quality. There's never been a better time. There will never be a better time. So how do you do that? And I want us to be the answer to the question, how? I want us to be the answer to the question, who do I partner with for all of these things, for the training that I'm gonna need, for the help with local sales and marketing that I'm gonna need, for the partnership with the right equipment people. How do I make sure I'm using the right equipment, the best equipment? How do I bundle those together? How do I make sure I've got the right financing? Um, you know what, get involved, uh, do the research. Uh, uh, look into us, look into other manufacturers, look into every opportunity you can because now's the time to do it. And whether you choose us or some other partner, please answer yes to the question, should I get involved in IAQ right now? Because this is the time. It's going to help you be a more successful, well-differentiated contractor in your local market. So please get involved, do the research, check us out. Um, uh, and, and of course, I hope you reach out to us and uh, give us a call, shoot us an email, go to kggconsulting.com and, uh, and, and look on how you can contact us from there for sure. Thank you, Ken. Well said. Thank you all for listening and hanging in there with us. We hope you get excited hearing this kind of dialogue. I know we do. We, <laughs> we oh, can go yeah, on and on. overly but we, excited, we, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to cut it off somewhere here. Just uh, <laughs> Anyway, thank you all. We appreciate you being here and stay safe. And stay we'll safe. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. Be good. Thanks, Rob.